Hi, I'm Devin. I'm the head of customer service for Vive Health. And in this video, I'll show you how to assemble and install your Vive compact bed rail. Included with your order, you will find two L-shaped base rails, two short padded elbow bars, one crossbar, one padded grip rail, two collared locking pins, and one frame safety strap. Step one, fit the two L-shaped long base rails together using the locking pins on A1, the male end. You'll pinch those together, fit them into A2 until those pins pop into place. This will now form the base of the compact bed rail that fits underneath the mattress. Step two, we'll now fit the narrow end of these padded elbow rails into the open ends on the long base rail here. As we did before, we'll pinch the locking pins in and push together until the locking pins pop into place. You'll want the unpadded end of this curved rail to face up. We'll install one and then the other. Step three, take the crossbar and fit the upturned ends of the short elbow rails into the inner set of holes on the crossbar. That's gonna be the tubes marked with the little uh, locking pin holes. So fit those over, pinch the locking pins down, press down until they lock together, like so. Step four, take the padded handrail and fit the metal ends into the outer, the open tubes on the crossbar. Just fit those down, run those through. Step five, turn the rail so that you can see the pinholes at the bottom of the grip rail and on the crossbar. What we'll do is lift the grip rail up so that those pinholes are aligned and take one of our locking pins with its plastic collar and fit that into and through those two pinholes. Pin goes through, plastic clip clips onto the outside of the crossbar and secures one side together. And now the other. Once those are clipped on, you're all set. Step six. Now that the rail is assembled, we'll cover installation. We'll turn the rail around here so that you can see the frame strap. What we'll do is wrap the end of the frame strap around the base rail here at the very end, fasten the buckle together and pull the strap tight so that the end of the strap furthest away from the rail is the buckle. We'll then fit it underneath the mattress here. We'll now install the base rail and the frame strap underneath the mattress. Now the mattress can be lifted up and the rail can be positioned wherever you'd like. Um, depending on the needs of the patient, the mobility of the patient, it could be moved up, it could be moved down. For demonstration purposes, I'll keep it sort of centered here. And make sure, just for simplicity's sake, that you leave the buckle connected while you're feeding it underneath the mattress. Once it's on the other side though, you can uncouple the buckle to attach it to the frame. Lift that up and pass that underneath. Step seven. Now that we have the rail installed, the frame is tucked under the mattress, we have the strap running underneath the mattress, between the mattress and the box spring, or the mattress and the bed frame, and we'll fasten the strap. So the strap will wrap around the frame, 
and clip together with the buckle. You can pull the strap here to take up any tension if needed and then tuck the excess strap away in case that's too long and that could be a tripping hazard. And installation is as easy as that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below if you have any questions.